Here in the heart of Nicaragua, people have been cultivating cigars for over 130 years. That's over four generations of people, and a lot of cigars, my friend. Now, there's been a lot of changes lately here at Oliva Cigars. But then again, if you'd ask Ernesto, he would probably say it's just business as usual. And he's right, you know, because for the last three years we've been doing what we've always been doing. Vamos! Still opening new factories and using that as a perfect excuse to have a little party on the side. We're still passing on knowledge from father to son and from mother to daughter in a land where the women know just as much about cigars as the men. God, I love this country. We are still planting seeds for the future, the same way we've done in the past, nurturing the little things so that one day they can be part of the big things. We're still teaching our people to aim higher than they are tall, so they can discover how pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work. We're still hard working, and yes, sometimes hardly working. But hey, if tobacco leaves get to rest, why shouldn't we, right? And sure, we've updated our procedures into the digital age, just not too much. No one wants to smoke a digital cigar, my friend. Trust me. And you know, we've been improving our production lines since 1886. From harvesting leaves and rolling them to perfection, to turning raw materials into boxes that are just as elegant as the cigars they hold, right down to the smallest detail. And yes, with a tiny little bit of help from Signor Freccia, I must admit. So you see, my friend, things change, while they stay exactly the same as they have always been. To be honest, we are amazed that such a long and rich history still fits in such a small box. So if anyone tells you it's business as usual at Oliva, that means we are probably busy enjoying what we enjoy best, making cigars and sampling a few along the way. Because if there's one thing we learned from our ancestors, it's that the secret of a good cigar is not only in its ingredients, but just as much in the person who appreciates it. That's why we say, don't smoke them, but enjoy them.